Hello princesses! Welcome back to Not Fit for Print Beauty with me, Rebecca. Today we're going to talk about something new. It's still in its beautiful little package. We'll unwrap it together. This lovely wrapping contains the Smooth Buffer Brush by Sonia G. I initially bought this. It was just released a few days ago. And I initially purchased this just for me just to use because I love Sonia G brushes. I love handmade Japanese natural brushes. This was just something for me to use. But at time of filming anyway, I went on to Beautylish that sells all of Sonia G's brushes and saw that it was not sold out. It was still available. And I thought, hmm, maybe then I will take this opportunity to share my love for Sonia G's brushes with you. Um, and twofold really either give you a chance to look at it if you were already considering adding it to your collection and if you haven't tried one of Sonia G's brushes or natural brushes in general maybe I could persuade you. I am not here to make anybody purchase anything but and I have said this in the past I feel very strongly princesses that so many of us spend so much money on eye palettes and cheap palettes and very expensive items that later get pushed to the back of our drawers for other new exciting items. And we don't always spend our money, all of us, me included, in the right places. Your foundation, I don't mean skin foundation, but the, the basics that you have to apply your makeup are just as important if not, I would argue, more important than the makeup we put on our faces. And these really expensive eyeshadows, we always say they apply themselves. Well, they do, but especially if you have the right brushes. And though I am, of course, a huge fan of the right synthetic brushes, and though I do, of course, know that there's times we have to save in our budget, I do encourage you when you can to save up and purchase a natural hair Japanese brush um, because I think it will change the way that you apply makeup and since you will use it all the time I find amateurized it is actually a good expense or that's what I tell myself anyway so I'm sticking to it so let's take a look now first of all I do realize and I will start I'll stop jabbering and show us the products but I want you to know that I do realize that we come from a variety of backgrounds uh, here and I welcome everybody some of us watching today have a huge collection of handmade Japanese brushes and just want to see the brush for what it looks like and others of us have not been introduced to it at all um, as a reminder my day job is a journalist I'm a fashion and beauty writer I type all day so I do try to present this in the most journalistic of ways and not speak down to anyone who knows a ton um, and not make anyone who doesn't know a lot feel bad so I just try to strike the middle ground and hopefully there's something for all of us in there okay all right so the smooth buffer from Sonia G was just introduced as a slightly smaller version than the face one now Sonia G for those of you who do not know is pretty much the world-renowned expert on all things brushes uh, whether they're synthetic brushes or natural brushes um, and her blog sweet makeup temptations which I will log uh, which I will list below for you so that you can click on it um, is a primer in all things by all brushes by all makers but along the way Sonia G very smartly started noticing some holes and her brushes fill in those gaps so her brushes are tend to have very specific uses which I love if you look at other collections that have come um, of course all the ones made in Japan themselves but Wayne Goss makes his there and and refer and things there those are very generalized lovely brushes uh, Sonia G's are much more targeted to certain areas so let's take a look at the first release which is the face one and the face one sold for $75 on Beautylish and it's currently out of stock and I'm gonna get to whether or not it will come back it was $75 and it is a brush for setting, for buffing, for blending. It is a flat kind of kabuki style top and I use it every day to finish my look. I kind of stamp on and buff on with finishing powder which we're going to do together. The smooth buffer is $5 less. It's $70. 
and it is a slightly smaller version. So we're gonna look at that. First, I'll unwrap it. I just wanted you to see, if you didn't know, the very kind of precious, lovely way that these come. These brushes are handmade from top to bottom. Uh, they use Psychoho Goat Hair, uh, which comes from, if I am not mistaken, the neck and chest of the goat, which is very soft, soft part. And um, Goat Hair holds the, the product very well and is also extremely soft and gentle on the face. So here we go, and it is in right here. So the first thing to look at, and of course I just took it out so it's gotta kind of spread its little wings. Um, as you use natural brushes, um, and so many of us know this already, princesses, they get better as you use them and gently wash them and all of those things. So here we have identical brushes. Let this guy get his little wings because I haven't used him yet. This new brush, the Smooth Buffer, has what we call the sky handle. That's the blue smaller handle. It also, we're gonna talk in centimeters here, where they face one brush, reaches two centimeters. This is 1.74 centimeters. Remember, it's not quite as fluffy as it could be, and it will be with more use. You can see the way it kind of fans out when it's used more. And the way this little guy hasn't quite breathed as much yet. Um, and you're gonna say, you just took it out of the packaging, Rebecca. How do you know you love it? Well, let me tell you. It, it is a smaller version and a more compact, lighter version of the face one. And the face one, very it really is particular with how you use it. What I do with the face one, and I, as I've shown you before, let me take um, the Guerlain Meteorites here, and I like to go into it here and just kind of buff in and just kind of complete my look. I haven't done that yet. And it's just the perfect brush to do it. So why did I need a smaller one? Well, for a few reasons. Number one, we could use this to buff in, as you see the technique I'm doing here, a bronzer. You could even buff in a highlighter. So I have my Charlotte Tilbury highlighter on right now, and just here, I am just kind of buffing that in. We sometimes say with highlighters that they can show texture. And the great thing about the goat hair and the shape of this brush is you can almost buff that in, and really it helps kind of erase any of those fine lines. Plus, Let's look at the brand new Hourglass Sculpture Palette. We have in the Hourglass Sculpture Palette two finishing powders. And I can go into the finishing powder, look at that, with this small brush so easily, and I can stamp in that way as well, where that would be a little bit harder to get just one with the bigger brush. So, and it's lighter, compact, easier to hold. The other thing is, if you didn't ever get your face one brush on Beautylish, though supposedly they are coming back, I think Sonia G herself admits it might just be a while. These brushes are so technical, so difficult to make, so artisanal, that it takes a while and I'm not certain that this will be coming back soon. I do not speak for Beautylish, I do not speak for Sonia G, of course, but I think if you were waiting for the face one, this little guy, which at time of filming is still available for $5 less, will do ya just as well with a nice little slim sky handle and will still, what you saw me doing with the meteorites at the beginning here, would still do that for you. If you haven't tried kind of buffing in a finishing powder, I urge you to do that too. It will definitely complete the look. You could still give yourself a little spritzy spray afterwards for some luminosity, but to me there's nothing as good as blending in and this brush, along with its big brother, the Sky, the uh, Face One brush, is made really for that. But like I said, you could also buff in your highlighter, your bronzer. It is perfect for that. Remember, as I told you, Sonia G's brushes really have very specific uses, but though that seems frivolous, this Face One has been pretty much the favorite brush that I own. And I have a lot of Sonia G brushes. I have her brush holder. 
I have a lot of brushes in general, and a few have asked you, have asked me to take you on a little tour of my brushes, which I'm really happy to do. If you're interested, just let me know as well. I'm very happy to do that. But Sonia G are some of my favorite. I think this is a great investment. If you miss this one, it might be a while before it comes back, and I think you would do well to add this to your collection, or believe it or not, to start a collection with this, because I really think you're gonna see how effortless it makes things and how when you use a finishing powder, and there's so many great ones on the market, here's a Chantecai, here's the Hourglass in uh, the Ambient Infinity finishing powder, and you can just go, I mean, you just can't make a mistake of just tapping and buffing. Beautiful, you'll never disturb the makeup underneath, the foundation underneath with this brush, it is so soft and so gentle and gets better with use. Let me know, are you interested? Did you pick this up? Are you planning to? It is still available at time of filming, so I would get on over to Beautylish and check it out. This is, of course, not sponsored, just my opinion. Let me know your thoughts down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and if you have not subscribed, I would sure appreciate it if you would. I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.